The humanoid robot industry is witnessing an intense showdown, and the latest contender is Norway's 1X Neo Beta, a bipedal butler robot making waves. But can this young upstart challenge Tesla bot, which Elon claims is the most advanced robot on the market? Neo Beta is diving headfirst into a battle where Tesla bot dominates with its unmatched sensors and autonomous abilities effortlessly navigating its surroundings. Meanwhile, Neo Beta still depends on remote oversight and scrambling to refine its tech. How can 1X Neo Beta compete with Tesla Bot's dominance? How does the Tesla Bot and 1X Neo Beta compete on price? When we talk about humanoid robots, one of the first things most people are wondering about is cost. With Tesla Bot, Elon set the bar at about 20 grand, a surprisingly competitive price given the advanced AI tech and capabilities packed into the machine. By leveraging Tesla's experience in mass making electric cars, the company is able to keep their costs down, making Tesla Bot accessible to a broader audience. In comparison, the Neo Beta is expected to cost the same as a reasonably priced car, putting its price range between $20,000 and $30,000 depending on features. This steeper price tag could limit its appeal, especially for everyday consumers. Tesla's already established a large-scale production system for EVs and electronics, which gives it an advantage in cutting the cost of products like Tesla Bot. By reusing and optimizing technologies from its EVs, such as sensors, processors, and autonomous systems, Tesla can drastically lower development and manufacturing expenses. Leveraging existing infrastructure and the ability to scale production, Elon ensures that Tesla Bot will be more competitive in price, not just stopping at 20K. Actually, in fact, Neo Beta does not have the same production scale as Tesla, which could make it harder to compete on price with Tesla Bot. While Tesla leverages large-scale manufacturing and repurposed components, 1X Neo Beta is still refining its in-house production capabilities, including the development of its own actuator and assembly facilities in Norway. This suggests that although both companies aim for affordability, Tesla's established production process may allow it to offer a more competitively priced humanoid robot in the near term. It's important to consider accessibility for each of these types of robots. The Tesla bot's price point suggests a broader customer-based focus, and at a reasonable price, it can appeal to a wide range of customers, from businesses to households or individuals looking for automation solutions. On the other hand, with a higher price point at 20 to 30 grand, Neo Beta seems to be targeting a niche market with that higher price tag. This market will decide whether the high price is justified based on actual demand and consumer willingness to pay. And this raises an important question for the average consumer. Just how much advanced technology do we truly need? A higher price must be justified with clear, tangible benefits. Otherwise, you risk alienating a wider audience. While the upfront cost of both Tesla Bot and Neo Beta may seem relatively high, total ownership costs extend beyond the initial purchase to include maintenance, repairs, and upgrades. Tesla, with its extensive ecosystem of technology, products, and after-sales services, is likely in a better position to offer more affordable maintenance options, thanks to its global reach and mass production capabilities. Other companies, especially smaller ones like Neo Beta, may struggle to compete in terms of long-term affordability if they lack robust support networks or the ability to produce components at scale. How is Tesla Bot's design superior to its direct competitor? When comparing the physical capabilities and design of Tesla Bot with Neo Beta, Tesla Bot stands out as the superior option. Standing at nearly 6 feet and weighing 125 pounds. Aside from that, Neo Beta stands at 5.4 feet and weighs 66 pounds. Tesla Bot is designed for both industrial and household tasks with the ability to carry up to 45 pounds. 1.02 times higher than the lifting capacity of the 44 pounds of the Neo Beta. Its most notable advantage, however, is its impressive battery life, allowing Tesla Bot for eight hours of continuous operation on a full charge, making it well suited for extended tasks without frequent recharging. Meanwhile, Neo Beta only has a usage time of two to four hours when fully charged. Its usage charge is actually four times less than Tesla Bot. This reduces its long-term practicality. In terms of design, Tesla Bot's built with lightweight yet durable materials, making it sturdy enough for both industrial and home environments. 
its advanced AI based on Tesla's self-driving technology allows it to interact intelligently with its surroundings, enhancing its safety and efficiency. In contrast, Neo Beta is designed to be approachable and friendly, featuring a soft sportswear-like exterior. While this design makes Neo Beta suitable for basic household chores, its overall durability and ability to handle demanding tasks may not match that of TeslaBot. How is Elon Musk bringing humanoid robots into your everyday life? TeslaBot's designed to be used for all needs, like in factories, it can do these repetitive and dangerous tasks like lifting heavy objects, assembling parts, and assisting in production. At home, TeslaBot could potentially be used for more complex activities, like caring for the elderly, performing household chores, even providing medical assistance. Its flexibility is evident in its ability to carry out household duties like vacuuming, mopping, tidying up, preparing meals, cleaning after cooking, washing, drying, and even folding clothes. TeslaBot can also take care of indoor plants by watering and pruning them, looking after pets after feeding, cleaning up after them, playing with them, even manage shopping by making grocery lists and placing orders online. These capabilities highlight the versatility of TeslaBot, which thanks to advanced AI and design, is able to do complex tasks that go beyond standard household chores, making it suitable for both industrial and domestic environments. In contrast, Neo Beta is intended for home use, it's engineered to assist with basic domestic chores like cleaning, organizing, and supporting daily activities. While NeoBeta is optimized for household settings, its capabilities are limited compared to TeslaBot. NeoBeta is lighter and focuses on safety, featuring soft materials and padded components to reduce the risk of accidents, which makes it an ideal robot for residential environments. However, this emphasis on safety comes at the expense of versatility and power, meaning it cannot handle heavier or more complex tasks. What sets Tesla bought apart from Neo Beta is its impressive technical specs and industrial level strength. With a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery, TeslaBot can operate for an entire workday. It consumes just 100 watts when idle and up to 500 when moving at a faster pace, making it energy efficient while still capable of sustained performance. One of TeslaBot's standout features is its advanced hand design, which offers 22 degrees of freedom. This allows it to manipulate objects with great precision, making it suitable for tasks that require delicate handling. In contrast, NeoBait is much lighter, and while it excels at maintaining home safety and organization, it lacks the strength and technical complexity of TeslaBot, designed with home safety in mind. If you had a robot as your personal chef, what would you ask it to cook every night? Do you think a robot can make a perfect steak like your favorite restaurant can? Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below the video. Why does 1X Neo Beta cost 30 grand, but still so far behind the Tesla bot at just $10,000? Tesla bot's a product of years of expertise in autonomous systems driven by the same technology that powers Tesla's self-driving cars. In contrast, Neo Beta takes a simpler approach, focusing on predefined household tasks. While both robots have their strengths, TeslaBot's superior learning capabilities make it a more powerful and versatile option. TeslaBot's designed with a full AI system that draws heavily from Tesla's experience with FSD technology or full self-driving. Neural networks that allow Tesla cars to navigate complex road environments are now repurposed to help the bot handle a wide variety of tasks in dynamic settings. TeslaBot uses real-time data to adapt and improve its understanding of its surroundings. Much like how Tesla's vehicles learn from every mile driven, this enables TeslaBot to process vast amounts of info quickly, allowing it to learn and make decisions autonomously without needing constant human input. On the other hand, NeoBeta uses a simpler form of learning, known as embodied learning, which allows it to get better at tasks over time through physical interaction with its environment. While effective for performing repetitive household chores, its AI is much more limited in scope. Neo Beta relies on pre-programmed tasks and can only learn within the constraints of these basic functions. While it gets better at organizing or cleaning through repetition, it does not have the same capacity for broader learning and adaptability as TeslaBot does. TeslaBot's learning capabilities are tightly linked to its autonomy. 
The robot isn't just programmed to perform specific tasks. It can figure out how to accomplish goals it hasn't been explicitly trained for. Tesla Bot's vision-based AI allows it to see and understand its surroundings, making context-aware decisions similar to how Tesla's FSD cars navigate the road. This ability to adapt and problem-solve on the fly is a nice advantage, especially when dealing with unpredictable or challenging environments. And NeoBeta operates primarily through predefined commands and is limited to controlled environments. While it's efficient at tasks like cleaning or organizing, it struggles to adapt when faced with unexpected challenges. Its lack of deeper learning capabilities means that while it can perform its intended functions well, it won't improve or evolve in the same way TeslaBot does. Another area where TeslaBot outshines NeoBeta is in its connectivity and ability to get updates. Tesla Bot is equipped with Wi-Fi and LTE, allowing it to get over-the-air software updates like their vehicles. That means the robot can continuously learn and improve even after it's deployed. As Tesla's AI gets better, so will Tesla Bot. On top of that, Tesla Bot benefits from fleet learning, meaning it can tap into the collective knowledge of every other Tesla Bot and Tesla vehicle on the road. And that creates kind of a shared intelligence, which allows for rapid learning and adaptation on a scale that's unmatched in the robotics industry. By contrast, Neo Beta lacks this kind of connectivity and networking capability. While it performs well in a home environment, its ability to improve or update its knowledge over time is much more limited. Without frequent updates or access to broader data sets, which can be a drawback in the long run. How do they compete with each other in terms of safety? A key factor in Tesla Bot's superior safety is in its ability to process real-time data. Tesla Bot is equipped with advanced sensors and AI, enabling it to constantly monitor and analyze its surroundings. This means it can make split-second decisions to avoid hazards, adapting to environments with ease. Whether it's navigating a busy workspace or responding to unexpected obstacles, Tesla Bot's ability to process real-time info drastically reduces the likelihood of accidents. In comparison, Neo Beta operates mainly on pre-programmed tasks. While this works well for predictable routines, Neo Beta struggles when faced with new or changing situations. Its limited ability to adjust to real-time changes leaves it more vulnerable to errors or operational failures in unpredictable environments. Another big plus for Tesla Bot over Neo Beta is the concept of collective intelligence. Every Tesla Bot learns not just from its own experiences, but also from the experiences of all other units in operation. For example, if one unit of Tesla Bot encounters a particular obstacle or risk, that knowledge is shared with all other units, creating a constantly improving system. In contrast, Neo Beta lacks this networked learning capability. Any updates or improvements must be implemented individually, limiting its overall ability to adapt and improve safety over time. Tesla Bot's design incorporates several advanced safety features that further elevate its reliability. It's built with multiple layers of redundancy, ensuring that if one system fails, backup systems immediately take over, keeping the robot operational and safe. In addition, the AI-driven safety protocols continuously monitor the robot's environment, enabling it to adjust its actions to prevent accidents. Designed to work safely alongside humans, Tesla Bot minimizes the risk of injury during human-robot interaction. On the other hand, NeoBeta has taken a more straightforward approach to safety. It's designed to be lightweight, which reduces the risk of injury in case of accidental contact. NeoBeta also features a soft, cushioned exterior that eliminates hard pinch points, making it safer for direct human interaction. Its internal structure, which mimics muscle movements, allows it to move more gently, which is beneficial in household tasks. Additionally, each beta unit undergoes a rigorous real-world testing before deployment to ensure safety in practical scenarios. However, while these features are great, they don't offer the same depth of protection that Tesla Bot's more advanced systems provide. When comparing two robots, Tesla Bot clearly leads in several areas. Its built-in redundancy and fail-safe systems ensure continuous safe operation even if something goes wrong, whereas Neo Beta relies on more basic sensors and lacks the same level of precision. Additionally, while both robots are designed to interact safely with humans, Tesla Bot's AI-driven controls allow for more intelligent and adaptive responses, making it more reliable in diverse settings. 
How different are their release timelines and development strategies? When it comes to the release timeline and strategy, TeslaBot is positioned far ahead of the competition, particularly Neo Beta. Tesla's well-planned approach gives them an advantage, allowing them to dominate the market even before their rivals have a chance to gain traction. Tesla Bot was first introduced by Elon in August 2021, and since then it's shown impressive progress. Tesla's been testing the bot in real-world environments at their own factories, ensuring that the product is refined and ready for broader use. With this steady pace of development, Tesla is targeting a commercial release of Tesla Bot by the end of the year. This timeline not only showcases the company's dedication of getting things right, but also proves their capability in bringing advanced robotics to the market efficiently. In addition, 1X Technologies introduced their Neo Beta in August, with plans to start testing in households by the end of the year. While this timeline's pretty quick, it pales in comparison to Tesla's more deliberate real-world testing that's been happening for years. Without the same level of field experience or testing environments, 1X Technologies is just playing catch-up to Tesla's well-established roadmap. Tesla's released strategy also stands out as a key advantage. Tesla's consistently leveraged its strong brand, loyal customer base, and existing ecosystem to create excitement and interest around new products. This approach has worked well for TeslaBot, enabling the company to launch early versions, collect valuable user feedback, and refine the product faster than competitors. This iterative process, combined with their massive market presence, allows Tesla to capture a significant share of the market early on, setting a high bar for others to follow. Neo Beta, on the other hand, faces an uphill climb. With less brand recognition and a slower release strategy, it's going to be more challenging for them to get a market share, especially in a landscape where Tesla's already made a big splash. By the time Neo Beta hits households, Tesla will likely have a more polished product with established customer trust and loyalty. So do you believe by the end of this year we'll have self-learning robots that can help you with daily chores like taking care of your pets, cooking, and even supporting loved ones in healthcare? We'd be happy if you let us know your thoughts on this. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this episode. If you do, please hit that like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subbing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon and stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching and we hope to see you back here soon. Until then, take care and God bless you. Bye.